I'm really happy to be here today. It's not so common to see this kind of breakthrough in the medical field. Is stem cell therapy going to put an end to chronic kidney disease in the near future? According to several scientists and researchers, the answer is yes, and we may actually see the working therapies earlier than we thought. Hello, how are your kidneys doing? This is Catherine. Welcome to Double O Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here's why everyone is so excited about stem cells. The promise of stem cell technologies is to develop regenerative therapies and lab-grown replacement kidneys to stop chronic kidney disease for good. This is a bold claim. In the United States, more than 20 million people are suffering from kidney disease. This means 1 in 10 adults. Of them, more than 100,000 people are on a kidney transplant list. Each month, 3,000 new patients are added to the list. For them, the median waiting time will be about 4 years, every single day. 13 people die while waiting for a kidney transplant. Another 10 people become too sick to receive a transplant and are removed from the list. Every single day. This clearly calls for better therapies and the most promising new studies involve stem cell based treatments. You may have heard about the breakthroughs of stem cell therapy in the news and may be wondering if there is a chance that stem cell therapy could actually be useful for you and the other kidney patients. Recently, researchers and doctors have made impressive steps forward in treating very complicated diseases using stem cells. The lives of thousands of children with leukemia have been saved thanks to the use of blood stem cells. Diseases that were incurable, like type 1 diabetes, heart disease, osteoarthritis, spinal cord injuries, Parkinson's disease, and even cancer are now being successfully treated with stem cell therapies. Giving the huge success of these therapies, big and important clinical trials are underway for many other conditions and researchers are very optimistic about treating kidney disease with stem cells. The kidney is one of the organs of our body with the greatest capacity to regenerate after damage, and stem cell-based therapy will greatly benefit from this peculiarity. So, what are stem cells exactly? Stem cells are the raw material of our body. Our body can use these cells to regenerate cells with specific functions, such as brain cells, blood cells, heart muscle cells, or renal cells. Stem cell therapy involves injections of stem cells and tissue transplant to heal injured organs and treat diseases. Now, these cells will even be grown in a laboratory to create new tissue to be used in regenerative medicine or organ transplant. This is called therapeutic cloning. These new therapies are incredibly effective and a huge amount of money and resources are being invested in what most pharmaceutical companies see as a new and growing sector. So, is stem cell therapy already available for kidney patients? Unfortunately, chronic kidney disease is still not on the list of treatable diseases yet. The ethical debate on stem cells slowed down the development of these therapies for years. There are two sources for stem cells, embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. Embryonic stem cells coming from human embryos have a much higher therapeutic potential, as they can repair any organ or tissue. On the other hand, 
Adult stem cells are coming from a specific part of an organ and can only be used to replicate that specific organ. The therapeutic potential of adult stem cells is limited because liver stem cells can only turn into liver, fat stem cells can only turn into fat, and so on. Still, adult stem cells are the most used in therapies today due to the federal law regulating the availability of embryonic stem cells and making much harder for scientists to obtain them. So, while today there is still no FDA-approved stem cell treatment for kidney patients, there are several clinical trials going on testing very promising therapies. For example, the Harvard Stem Cell Institute Kidney Group is testing mesenchymal stem cells against kidney damages. These cells are found in the bone marrow and researchers say that injecting them in a damaged kidney can aid kidney repair. The final goal of these experiments will be to create an artificial kidney in laboratory using stem cells and nanotechnology. This kind of technology could impact our life in a way that wasn't even imaginable just a few years ago. The future has never looked so bright for kidney patients, so never lose hope. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated on these developments. This is all for today. If you like this video, please like and leave a comment. Thank you for watching.